Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I have an idea uh, that uh, I want to invite uh, all of you uh, to participate in this project. I'm going to give you uh, basically my go-to verse, my favorite verse uh, um, to show the deity of Christ. Uh, there are many, but if if I had to just pick one, I'm going to choose this one here. And then I'm going to ask you to choose your favorite verse to show the deity of Christ. And then make a comment and, and uh, list your favorite verse to teach and prove the deity of Christ from Scripture. Uh, I think I'll also do a second and third video uh, of this kind to show the salvation through faith alone in Christ alone and a third one that to prove the uh, concept of eternal security. But this video I'm going to ask you to uh, consider the verse I'm going to show you and then add your own verse. So let's collaborate on this. Uh, if you like this concept and you want to participate, then in the comment section, just include your favorite verse that shows that Jesus Christ is in fact God Almighty. The verse I've selected <coughs> is from uh, the book of Hebrews. I believe personally that uh, the first chapter of uh, the Gospel of John and the first chapter of Hebrews are the best chapters to really um, explain and prove that Jesus Christ is in fact God Almighty. So let's go to Hebrews. It says, uh, Who, being the brightness of His glory and the express image of His person, and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high but when he again brings the firstborn into the world he says let all the angels of God worship him but to the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. Well, here we have so much. This is obviously uh, the first chapter of Hebrews is talking about Jesus Christ, telling us who he is, it says that he is the express image of his person. It says that he himself purged our sins. Now, of course, we know that is Jesus Christ purging our sins through his atoning death on the cross. It says, after he had purged our sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. That is referring to the Father. It says, but when he again brings the firstborn into the world, this is referring to the second coming of Jesus when he comes to set up his kingdom. He says, the Father says, Let all the angels of God worship Him. Now, I hope we can all agree, the only one who should be worshipped is God Himself. So here we have God the Father saying, Let all the angels of the world, all the angels of God, worship Him, worship the Son, Jesus Christ. So the Father is saying, you need to worship 
the Son, Jesus Christ. Then the Father says, But to the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. So God the Father is saying to the Son, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. So we have God the Father speaking to God the Son and saying, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The Father is referring to the Son as God. Well, there are so many verses. I look forward to your input. Uh, I, I, I hope uh, many of you will participate in this. So your favorite uh, verses that teach and prove the deity of Christ, please list them uh, in the comments section. Uh, thank you for your participation. I look forward to it.